Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby Rajon Rondo. Rondo is going to be a great defensive point guard in my team. He's a little undersized at only 6'1". Interested to see how his release is this year and how well he shoots the ball, but he's fast and can defend and is going to be a pretty versatile, pretty good option at the point guard position in my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. And I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right in. Let's take a look at this Rondo. I think you can get Rondo for free from Agendas, if I'm not mistaken. Is he one of the ones you can get for free? Uh, Moncrief and Peyton you can get for free. Is this one also? Yeah, Rondo you can get for free with 50 assists with Celtics players. So if you wanted to add the card, you can get him for free. He is 6'1", uh, 86 offense, 90 defense, 93 driving layup, 65 three ball, 70 mid range. So not an elite shooter. He can't dunk, but he's got 90 ball handle, 93 pass sack, 88 perimeter, 86 interior, sorry, 66 interior, 85 steal, but still great defender very fast 93 speed speed on excel and a 93 lateral quickness the numbers on this card are really really nice 18 golds 12 silvers two bronze badges you got ankle baker dimer handles for days needle threader special delivery ankle braces challenger clamps gloves pick dodger blow by relay passer speed booster huge one and then touch passer triple strike fast free right stick ripper and 94 feet 12 silvers include acrobat pro touch bailout break starter killer combos on pluckable bunny float game scooper spin cycle and then giant slayer and hyperdrive on bronze he's got a bunch of gold playmaking and defensive badges as well as some silver finishing like the layup badges and stuff and that's about all his badges doesn't have the shooting badges that's okay i like the fact that he's got the playmaking and the defensive badges though because that makes me feel like i can dribble well with him and then he's going to defend well on the perimeter and defensive ends of the court so movement wise not too bad i kind of like rondo sigs honestly they're not 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 shabby at all um i feel like i'm liking what i'm seeing so far out of this rondo card release wise it's also really smooth nice easy release can i green it consistently is going to be the question and i think the answer might actually be yes 65 three ball with this release this is going to get the job done yeah i feel confident enough i would shoot the ball with this if i get a catch and shoot three it's smooth it's easy to green it's consistent and it feels like a high enough three ball rating where i can green it with consistency from the mid range that's a 70 midi and we knocked that one down fading stat standing still should be really consistent as well the release is really nice so he's going to defend well he's got a nice release and then he's going to have good scooping layups and things like that around the rim going to be a bit of a crafty finisher that type of stuff uh which you'd love to see with rondo of course spin jumper fading back also a makeable one. He's got a good animation there. Uh, Euro step lay. I wouldn't probably use the Euro step too much with him, but I like the fact he's got that gold speed booster, gold handles for days, all the pl playmaking and defensive badges, uh, which is really, really nice to see. And Rondo's actually looking like a really, really good card, like pretty similar level point guard to Jason Kidd, maybe. He might be a dog. Let's hop into a game. See what Rajon Rondo can do. All right, let's hop into this game. I am actually going to use Shaq at the five in this game. I don't generally use Shaq a lot in my gameplays. We're going to shoot the pull-up midi with Rondo. I will confidently shoot that shot. I am annoyed that I missed it after making every single shot in freestyle, but that seems to be a common thing for me. I don't know, especially on PlayStation. I just can't shoot with consistency. It's annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, throw it up to Shaq. He's streaking down the court. He's behind the defense, able to get inside, reset it out to Rondo. This pick and roll combination is deadly, by the way, like really deadly. Pump fake here, dump down to Shaq. Shaq go up that should be a layup and he misses it because he's oh the ai in this game just don't have brain cells sometimes Shaq just leans back he's moving towards the rim and instead of dunking the ball or just flicking it up for an easy layup he decides to fall away from the basket don't understand it but it is what it is get through the screen ronda with great defense so far cutting off the dribble drive and curry does get by him that's a good layup. We were close to a stop there. I think we we're pretty close from being able to stay in front there and being able to actually finish that stop out. But we're going to push the ball up the court here. Uh, send Shaq on a back door, and we're just going to dump it down to him. Too much space. He's playing too high with Bosch. Nice dump down by Rondo. Lefty flip pass. Gets it in there to Shaq for the dunk, and we're back on defense now. Playing the slip here. Uh, I just messed up. I reached out of the play with KD. My bad. It's bad defense. Uh, I can actually low-key send somebody streaking down, down the court, though. Uh KD, I think, might actually be... Okay, never mind. I thought KD was inside of it, but Draymond just, like, grabbed the ball and just told him to ah, get off the rim. I don't know what happened. But 6-2 to two right now. Not my best start to the game by any means. Quick slip Shaq up the court. Chris Bosh is so dang good, bro. He is so tough. Good front fade, Rondo. That's a nice shot. And Rondo finally is on the board. 2-1. and one. Not our best start to this game, but not horrible either. I feel like Rondo is playing this pretty solidly so far. He's gotten to a couple of spots. I feel like maybe I should have put a shooting point guard or a shooting center on the court next to Rondo. But defensively, he's looking amazing right now. Back, Watch the back door. Straight up. Good D. And he makes that. There's nothing you can do. 60% contest on a layup. That's great defense. And you're just going to have to live with it sometimes. It, it is what it is. Um... 
Send Shaq streaking down the court. I don't know why Chris Bosh is faster than him, but it is what it is. Um, burst in here. We're going to get through here. We're going to get to this spot of the court, and we're going to just... I should have shot it. I'm going to I'm gonna take the lamp. Easy. Yo, Shaq! I understand that tired makes ratings lower, but tired shouldn't mean getting the worst animation in the world and missing light up and layup. That one was a bad take. He jumps again, though. Like, can I just get a single? A good animation is... I just don't understand. Rotating over, I'm not able to get the contest. And golly, bro, down 10 to 4 against this bot is really annoying. Shaq is just really underwhelmed. Okay. This has been a very frustrating game, but I still see the vision with Rondo. I just can't get anything to work the way that it's supposed to. He just got a great contest on staff, got us an interior stop. We're going to come off the screen. There we go. Got Slash Shaq slipping. He's finally going to make a point. It's been forever. I don't know how many good opportunities Shaq has missed. Rondo with 2 1 and 2, and he should have about 2 1 and 5. Like, I think Shaq's missed about five opportunities that were easy buckets that's a great contest we're only down four points i think this is a winnable game i'm just really irked by the way my team has been playing in this one but it is what it is get to our spot pull up for the mid-range again and i front fade and i i i knew i smoked the timing i was late on it that's totally my bad thankfully shaq actually does make a play gets the board and gets the re gets put gets the put back rondo with two one and two he is filling up the stat sheet a little bit and he's Playing really nicely laterally as well. Good D. He still gets a 10 test. Beautiful stuff. Rondo's out in transition. Run the floor, Rondo. Yes, sir. Let's go. Get inside. And uh, now kick it back out to KD. He's going to leave you out open for a three. Bad decision. Rondo assists to KD. Rondo might not be scoring a ton, but he's got two, two, and three, and he is making plays right now. Has play take as well. Get through that screen. Oh, no. My bad. My bad. I fat figured my icons couldn't get through. The way I wanted to, but it's okay. We're going to quick slip Shaq up the court, and we're going to push the ball in transition. We're going to go pick and fade here. Uh, just see if I can get KD. Yep. Beautiful. Play take. And that's why you get play take right there. So I can green that 22. So I can shoot that shot with confidence with KD. That's the value of play take right there. Not shooting that shot with confidence if I don't have that takeover. Rondo. I know this has been a sloppy, annoying game, but you see the vision with what he's been able to do in this game. Laterally, Steph is doing a pretty good job of getting past him a couple of times. It's been real close to a couple stops that we haven't been able to convert and finish, but there we go. We're up the court. I'm going to shoot a floater if I can here. I'm shooting a floater. Carando, floater. Oh, no. Ah, six for six contested. I thought I could get that off. I'm trying to get Sim Nation on him. That was, that was actually kind of a fire shot, too. And unfortunately, he takes the lead. I needed to hit that one right there. That was that was the one right there. Behind the back, Rondo. Yes, sir. Push back. Uh, scoop play. Scoop play, Rondo. Yes, sir. We're, we're getting Sim Nation on him right now. Shooting the floater and the scoop layup. Different types of layups for different situations. Love to see that. Rondo is making plays. Jump. No. Good shot. My opponent comes up clutch with a huge shot of his own. Deserves a lot of credit for that one, to be completely honest. Uh, Kid our pop again. And uh, Dr. J can backdoor and dunk and... And one! Oh my goodness, that was such a close and one. I thought I was going to have to foul and play the foul game. Hope he missed a free throw. But we get fouled from behind on Drexler by Drexler. Got to make our free throw. Let's go, Dr. J. One stop. We'll go to overtime. Have a serious chance to win this game. I got play take and sharp take too. Don't even... Don't give me a chance. Do not give me... A you know what? Screw a timeout. Who needs timeouts? Who needs timeouts? Who needs timeouts? I don't. I got sharp take and I got play take. I'm greening it. I didn't green it. I should have pump faked and shot a mid-range. I could have gotten a shot. <laughs> I trolled. I trolled. That's my fault. We started off really bad. We we're down like, what, 10 to 2 or 10 to 4. Rondo with 4, 2, and 4. Only 2 of 5 from the field. I feel like I definitely could have made that floater that I shot, but... I mean, he actually played quite well. Matched up against Steph. Matched up against one of the best squads in the game. Shaq and Steph. We played really, really well. Or Bosch and Steph, I think. Yeah, and a couple other guys. But I, Shaq was selling me at the beginning of that game. That's annoying. But it is what it is. Rondo, I thought, played quite well. Let's hop back to the main menu. And let's view the card. I mean, Rondo, I thought, played quite well. I missed a couple of shots with him that were probably makeable, a couple of open middies, and we missed some shots with Shaq that just I feel like I should have been able to make, which was annoying, but it is what it is. I feel like overall Rondo played quite well, and he is a legitimately very good role player point guard in my team. There's a lot of these types of cards that came out today. Rondo, Gary Payton, both of whom can play this type of role. I feel like you also have Van Davis from last week and a couple of the guys, Jason Kidd. Rondo's in that same category as a guy like Jason Kidd and Gary Payton, both all three of whom are 
great defensive PGs, don't quite give you the slashing or the shooting or anything like that, but they all defend at a very high level and can make a wide open three, and it kind of becomes personal preference between those three guys, but that's basically what this Rondo card is, is another kind of Gary Payton, Jason Kidd type of PG. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.